And when Jesus was passed over again by ship to the other side, much people gathered unto him and he was nigh unto the sea. If you going to be anywhere Jesus is, get ready for growth and much people to come. Those of you that want to take Pastor Larry and Pastor Ty and wrap them up and keep them just to you, get a new church because this place is getting ready to explode because Jesus is here. And everywhere Jesus is, people come. I can't help you. I can't help you. Look at this. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, James by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet. Well, I must tell you, if you backed up a couple of verses before verse 21, you would see that the 12 disciples was with Jesus too. Tell you, maybe he always got his boys. Okay, now look at this, look at this. A ruler, a ruler, a ruler comes. Now, so this is something we got to understand. This chapter 5 really is gives us photographs of the kingdom of God. Because from verse 21 through the end of verse 43, we see different photographs of what God's kingdom should look like. And in God's kingdom should be rulers. People that have authority politically, economically, that they should have authority academically, they should have authority uh, 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 spiritually, that they should have authority. That, and, and, and some of you all need to get ready for some people with authority to come in this church. When the politicians come, and it's near election, don't be getting upset when the pastors have them to say something. First of all, one of them may be running for judge, and you know your little nappy head boy, go get in trouble, we gonna need some favor. You don't sit people in the back because they don't shout and speak in tongues like you. You bring them to the front. They may have some influence that your church is going to need. So we got a ruler. Now this particular ruler, he had legal and he had spiritual influence because he's a ruler of the synagogue. And that's where things were decided about people's lives. And he could determine life or death. Now hold on a minute, hold on a minute. It says this, he says, when the ruler saw Jesus, he fell at Jesus' feet. That's an act of praise and worship. No matter how great you are, when you can fall down at the feet of Jesus, my God. When you can worship, you can put down your title and put down who you thought you were and fall down at the feet of Jesus. That's why I don't stay in the office doing praise and worship and come out grand like somebody was waiting on the Holy Spirit to pick me up and bring me out in the chariot. I don't like sitting in the office. Bring me to praise and worship. Bring me where people are breaking up in their heart and telling God they love them. Bring me where I can cry. Bring me where I can worship. Tell your neighbor, you can't worship, you can't preach to me. This ruler fell at the feet of Jesus and besought him greatly saying, my little daughter lieth at the point of death. Now, now, if something's going on in your life and you're in the presence of Jesus, he would be a good person for you to be honest. Tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. This is the time when somebody calls you up and says, daughter, what do you need from God? Pray my strength in God. Slap them. You don't pray no strength in God. If you want strength in God, get on the praise team, because the joy of the Lord will be your strength. If somebody asks you what you need and you broke, tell them, I need my house no. I need my car no. Because you think if you dress it up and curl it up and put jewelry up on it, it'll hide. Folks that got a spirit of knowing and knowledge and perfect and discerning, you can be out, you can look like a queen and I can still see broken pieces. Yes. He says, she's lying at the point of death, but I pray thee, kind of lay your hands on her that she may be healed and she shall live. After you tell God your problem, then speak what you want God to do about it and declare it to be my faith. Now see, if you're sick and you got a cold, to chill. Oh, baby, you got a cold, you want to hit the I don't have no cold. I walk in my faith and I'm about to come. Not running all over your faith. Let me tell you something. The Bible said he heals sickness and all manner of disease. So if you ain't got nothing, you can't get nothing. You got to first know you got the cold and put your faith on the cold and get rid of the cold. So when you keep my hand, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, shut up. That ain't even about calling those things that be 